Welcome back everyone to Wudang Wei. We're here at a new place, a new week, kind of wrapping up everything we've been going through. We've gone through all the external, so hopefully you've had a chance to go through all those videos and kind of get a good feel for all the different basics that we do in the external half of the training. Because for this week, I want to introduce and go over a bunch of drills uh, through the internal half of the training. So for the internal, a long time ago, we talked about it and explained how this is more dealing with meditation or qigong or taiji practices. Hopefully you're familiar with a few of those. And this week we want to focus on taiji. Um, why I picked taiji, I think is really important because for meditation, a lot of this becomes a very self-involved practice, very unique to each person. And qigong is, is kind of based on all these principles of breathing and limited mobility, uh, just doing over a few postures and explanations like this. Taiji is a little bit special because we're still keeping some of those basics that we're doing with the external half. Because Taiji on, on its essence is a little bit of meditation, it's a little bit of breathing practice, it's Qigong, and it, it's also combat application. So it can also have some martial art background as well. Um, and because of that, we can use our stances that we've been going over. We can use all these different basics and put them all together in a softer style rather than this more dynamic, uh, hard style that we've been going over so far. So for this week, Taiji will be the practice to kind of get us in this body frame, introduce this system, and kind of go over some different drills to get you uh, responding in a soft way. So a lot of times that's the main difference between the external hard and the internal soft style is that one is more dynamic and one is more passive. So Taiji is a lot about deflecting power or yielding, uh, finding the path of least resistance to use an application or to do something. Uh, so we're going to explain that a lot of times in combat application. We're going to explain that a lot in like uh, how you grab, how you move, how this technique works. But to me, and the way I think Taiji should be understood is that's a very uh, basic kind of fundamental way of understanding Taiji because there's lots of other layers to the practice. There's internal layers that have to do with your breathing, um, have to do with your reaction, with the elasticity of the muscles. There's other practices that go a little bit deeper, which is what I want to kind of build into uh, with more classes to come in the future. For this week, we're going to be going over the body structure, kind of the, the framework of Taiji, like how, how you position yourself to get into that system of training. So we're going to be going through day by day, kind of introducing uh, the standing posture, uh, some standing meditation, cloud hands, and finishing off the week, kind of wrapping things together with Taiji walking. So each day we'll kind of build on the next, and we're going to use the basics as we did from before and from each video. So everything will continue in this fashion. Um, so I hope you guys can follow along with these videos and practice these. Each video will have a little bit of a a walkthrough tutorial and then a little bit of a follow-through so you can practice while watching the video so I think that'll be really useful because a lot of the details with the internal practices are very subtle they're very small um, so hopefully you can pick up on everything so take each video slowly sometimes revisit them is okay and there'll be more material coming in the future for other classes and other systems we'll be getting deeper into the philosophy of Taiji as well um, but for right now just kind of understand that as being a complementary balancing act uh, between opposite forces. This is the very simplified version of Taiji theory of like the yin yang symbol that you're very familiar with, I think. Um, but that's the philosophy. We're going to keep that concept integrated into our practice, but we'll come back to it more and more to kind of get into the finer details of it because it's a very complete, uh, deep practice as well. Okay, so tune in tomorrow. We'll be going over basic Taiji posture and taking it from there. We'll see you then. Thank you for watching this video. Be sure to hit subscribe, check out all the information underneath. There you can navigate to the Ways of Wudam Patreon account. And by becoming a patron, you can get access to all the main channel resources around martial arts, Taoist philosophy, even Chinese music, in group classes, live streams, one-on-one -on -one courses, and a bunch of other stuff as well. So I hope you'll go check that out, and I hope to see you there. Once more, thank you for all your support. We'll see you in the next video.